Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geekerhead. I am Penge, and welcome back to the Civilization VI Rise and Fall One City Challenge. So here is our little empire. This is all we're going to have, so solo city, and it's all going rather well so far. Thank you to everybody that has commented and let me know things. There are some things that I could have indeed done better. Perhaps I should have built the theatre square before the encampment. Yes, in hindsight, possibly I should have done. And also, this great person here, this great merchant, it got pointed out to me that we're earning so many points, we're earning 6.6 .6 great merchant points per turn, that I should really have recruited him, and we would have got the next one anyway, because Mongolia are only earning one point per turn. So we would have absolutely smashed that. We would have got him, and then got the next one as well. So now, unfortunately, we're going to have to wait. We're going to have to wait until Mongolia or some other sieve starts getting great merchant points. So I have kind of done myself a great disservice there. I could have got one. I could have got certainly him in the next one. Maybe even a third one as well, potentially. Depending on how, you know, how the other guys do as well. Which, yeah, was a bit stupid of me. I didn't really think about that. I didn't plan that out very well. So thank you, everyone, for commenting and letting me know these things. Because it's good. It's all good. It's all good. I need to know all these things. So what's currently going on? We're going to go, uh, grow in three turns. So in three turns, we shall grow to a size 10 city. That's good. We are currently building ancient walls. That is also good. And then when that's done, when we are a size 10 city, I think we're going to put our theatre square in, start generating some culture and such like. There is also new buildings in here, in our little sort of government plaza thing. And uh, thank you to the Waltzy over on the uh, subreddit for letting me know about the buildings in there. So there are several buildings. There are the three tier one buildings. And then once you've built the tier one building, you can move on to the tier two building. And then once you've done the tier two, you can move on to the tier three building. And um, yes, I think we've got a clear picture of which ones we need. So we could start building those as well once the theatre square is in. So I think other than that, I think everything is going pretty kind of standard. It's kind of as we expect. Possibly need a uh, builder to come out and start doing some stuff on these. To put a pasture around that. Do some more work. Do some more bits and bobs around the place. But I think it's going okay. Now, one thing I am going to do, and again, thank you to people for reminding me, is go and see if anyone wants to be my friend. You, would you like to be my friend? I must decline. Okie doke. Well, never mind. Genghis Khan, would you like to be my friend? Oh my goodness me, he said yes. Eagles soar above doves and rabbits. Let us stand in friendship and the rest can cower in our shadow. Are you calling me an eagle? Are you calling me an eagle? Or are you the eagle? I'm the dove and the rabbits as everyone else. I don't know, but that's jolly exciting. I'm friends with Genghis Khan. <laughs> Who would have thought that would have happened? Okay, and the Dutch. Would you like to be my friend? We are greatly pleased to accept the hand of friendship. May our future be long and prosperous. Thank you very much. That's jolly exciting. Okay, we'll try it with you, though I don't think you'll go for it. Oh, okay. Korea gladly accepts your declaration. I was about to ask the same of you. Well, my goodness me, I am I am surprised. I am very surprised. Now, I believe the other lot are going to say no. So, uh, Japan said no, get stuff. Poundmaker won't even have the option, I don't believe. Can I even send you a delegation? No, you don't want that. You don't want to be my friend either. It is good that you wish to be friends with the Cree, but my people are not ready. Not now. Do you know what? That's actually quite a polite answer. Well done. And uh, Rome, uh, would you like to be my friend? Rome must remain Rome. A friend to no one more than to herself. You big lunatic. Okay, fine. So there is one more sieve to meet, and I believe it is England. We just haven't come into contact with them yet. I don't know where they are <laughs> on the map. I've got no idea, but we certainly haven't come in contact with them yet. Well, I think we've seen a message about them or something. Okay, he would like chocolate for third. Well, all right, cocoa, but whatever. Chocolate essentially for thirty turns. He is going to give me fourteen gold up front, which is kind of neither here nor there, but okay. Three gold for thirty turns. That's okay, and. Open borders. Yeah, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Yes, I see the wisdom in this deal. Agreed, yes. And now, do I want to do this next turn? I might. We've got enough money. We've got enough monies. I'm going to buy us another... If we purchase an item with gold, buy ourselves a builder. Ta-da! Builder. We're going to go down here, get this ivory. So put a camp on this here, a camp on that just there, and then go over here and put a pasture on that. Not only will we get plus three amenities from the Temple of Artemis being nearby, which is, that's that's a, an amazing wonder for this particular setter. I'm so glad I got that in. Um, it'll also give us two lots of ivory, one of which we could trade away and get some more stuff, so get some more gold or whatever. So that's quite a good thing. Now, 
people also said about alliances. Like, do I want to go into an alliance with Genghis Khan? I don't think I can, can I? No, I can't quite do an alliance just yet. I don't think it's a, a thing I can do at the moment. Uh, yeah, and I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to go to war with him. I think that would be a silly thing to do. Okay, right. Well, nothing much is happening at the moment. So let's speed time on. Ah, we've already got a builder. We can have another builder doing some more stuff. I hadn't noticed him. I'd completely forgotten that we had another builder doing some stuff. Okay, well, never mind. We've got two builders going around. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so you currently have Solo City. Eight amenities of four required, which is brilliant. So let's up that then. So we'll do that. There we go. We've got horseback riding. That should, in theory, be up to nine now. Yes. <laughs> this thing is brilliant. This Temple of Artemis thing is absolutely brilliant. Okay. And horseback riding has also been boosted, which is jolly splendid. That helps a lot. Maybe we could buy that tile, possibly. Okay. Math's done. Splendid. A unit needs orders. Okay. Yeah. Now we've got a spare. <laughs> we've got an excess builder. Uh, all right. You head down here, then. You head that way and put the camp on there. You are quite like... How much is it to buy that tile? 125. Yeah. I think we do that. I think we spend 125. That's only two turns worth of money, pretty much. Let's do that. Let's put him onto there. Now, does that give us another another amenity point? So we've got nine at the moment. You build a pasture to get the lovely cattle. Does that put us up to ten? Ten? <laughs> This is brilliant. Ah, splendid news. Okay. What do we need now, then? Uh, astrology, sailing, horseback riding. We're going to have to get some of these eventually at some point. Sailing and astrology and all that. Uh, do you know what? We can't use it for anything but sailing. Because it's one turn and it just gets it out of the way. Why the heck not? One turn. Then we'll have the city growth. We'll have the walls done. We'll have science done. It'll all be absolutely fantabulous, I am sure. sure. Yay, we can go sailing. Even though we've not got anything near the sea at all. Uh, civil service. Boosted. <gasps> Solo city grows and its people take pride in the thriving metropolitan life. Okay, so we get an era score for going up to 10. And if we can try and get into a golden age. 33 out of... We only need 10 more points. And the only thing is, points are quite hard to come by now. But we've only got one city. We could go and meet England might be useful. That might be quite a good thing. If we could find where England are, that would give us a point. Other than that, is it Wonders and what else? Like, what else? I need to put my theatre square, actually. That might help. Let's get the uh, theatre square in play. Uh, just there, yes. Plus three culture for being just there. So that's a good thing. Yes. Build it just there, please. That should give us some points. And you can... I don't know what you can do. Go over there. Why not? You can build a farm on there. And what do we want to do now in terms of the world of science? Horseback riding kind of opens up a lot more of these other things. So should we get horseback riding? It's been boosted. Then we can get these three. In fact, these three things have been boosted. And machinery, which is lumber mills. Lumber mills are ridiculously good. Let's get horseback riding, I think. Okay, so the third square is there. We're going to have to wait to build the campus. We're going to have to wait to build the campus. Now, that is important, however, because then we'll start getting great scientist points from the uh, Oracle. Ooh, you've just got that stone resource as well. That's very good. That's quite good news. So you guys can go down here and go back up and build something on that stone resource. That's quite good news. Okay, yes, good. We'll take that. Nothing happening? No, a, t a time where nothing happened. Nobody spoke to me. Nobody did anything. Right. Do you want to be my friend now? Yes. I see in you the peace and tranquility of a warrior. And I welcome that friendship. I am not a warrior. I would prefer a nice sit down and a cup of tea and a book or something. But okay, fine. I'll be a warrior if you really need me to be. Jolly good. There we go. So now I am friends with four of the six that I've met. That has got to be a good thing. Now, what gets me alliances? I don't know. I imagine it's a civic. I imagine it's a civic, but I don't quite know. Right, you guys. This will help again. <laughs> they should put this up by two in theory. We should have 12 amenities because we'll have one amenity from the ivory and another amenity from the Temple of Artemis. So as soon as we do this, we should go up to 12. So bump. Ivory and that. So we should have 12. Let's just check. 12, <laughs> 12 of 4. Uh, that's just going to see as good. That we might not need to build the Colosseum. The Colosseum was another kind of thing that I thought, right, we need that. But this might have sorted our amenities out. Uh, the, the This thing here, the Temple of Artists, might well have helped quite a lot there. Okay, and let's put a farm just there. Bomp. 
and lovely. A nice little farm by the uh, by the end of the river there. That's quite nice. Okay, those guys can then go. Uh, you want open borders? Open borders, and you're going to give me a whole one gold piece. Yes, many thanks. Yeah, rock on. Uh, yeah, so I think we send you then. <gasps> Delightful songs, inspiring words. The artists, poets, and playwrights of Solo City all stroll the streets of our theatre square. Oh, that was quickly built. That was quicker than I thought it was going to be. So two more builds. I say we send them over here to get another ivory that we can then trade away. And then up there to go on that stone. So yeah, that sounds like a good, solid plan. So we've got plus three era score because of the district. Th oh, we need six more. Come on. Come on, we must be able to do something. We must be able to do something. Does that get us anything? Does this get us anything exciting? Okay, well, let's build... Do we want to get an amphitheater or do we want to get an audience chamber? So this is the first tier of things that you can build in the government plaza. You can build an audience chamber, which is plus one of mean to, which we don't particularly need, but plus four housing, which might be quite useful in the long run, uh, in cities with governors. Obviously, we only have the one city and there is a governor. You get a governor title and it unlocks the Republican legacy policy card. Now, the other two are not quite as useful. That one, new cities receive a free builder and 50% increased production towards settlers. Obviously useless in a one city challenge. And the warlord throne, capturing an enemy city, grants 20% bonus production in all cities. We're not going to capture any enemy cities because we're only allowed one. So if we did have to do it, we'd raise them to the ground. So an audience chamber is what we're going to go for. And do you know what? Why not get that right now? Let's just get that in, shall we? Plus one amenity and plus four housing. Awards a governor title, which is probably a good thing. So, yeah, I think that's good. Let's get that. Let's go for an audience chamber. I've never built anything in one of these before. This is all shiny and new. <gasps> the Cree have founded a religion. Okay, right. Religion is going to be happening. Let us check. Religion. Go away. These things. Shifty. Move. <laughs> I can't see anything. Right, so are there religions? So, Japan has got Buddhism. The Netherlands has got Protestantism. Rome is Confucianism, and Zoroastrianism belongs to the Cree. So there is another one. There is another uh, religion available. So I don't know who's going to get that. I'm not sure who's going to get that in time, but there we go. So there is another one religion available. A big religion fight happening. No oh, yeah, horseback wasted. riding is done. I can also undo that pin. There we go, because the uh, culture theatre district is done. Theatre district, not it. They've changed the way that looks, I think. I don't think that looked like that before. I had a few more buildings in it. In fact, they changed all of them because the commercial hub looks potentially slightly different as well to what I remember. It looks a little bit different. Okay, fine. Okay, yeah, I, th I thought this had more buildings in. But okay, no, it's fine. Right then. What do we go for now? Engineering or construction? I'd say engineering. Yep. Yeah. Either one will do. It doesn't particularly matter. Yeah, engineering will do. And then construction, whatever. Not we bother which order we do it in. Oh, a shi Oh, <laughs> that was weird. The anger, the camera angle I was at, a shiny thing coming. I thought something strange had happened. Right, okay. Build a camp just there. And now we have something to trade. So I wonder what we can do with that. You, make a deal. We've got surplus elephants. Would you like something? Oh, I can get some gold per turn. Gifts will improve your relationship. I'm not giving you a gift of that. You can you can clear right off. Not four. What about what if we put thirty a turn? Like are they going to accept that? Thirty a turn. How do I accept the thing? They're happy to accept. Oh no 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 not that no. Four gold per. How do I change the number? Thirty. Enter. No not that then. Five. Enter. How do I confirm this? <laughs> how do I? Oh, is that the maximum they're willing to pay? So if I change it to three and then put back, but then I can't, if I put five and go back, it changes it to four. Oh, so they're only willing to pay four gold for 30 turns. Oh, so there's none of this back and forth that they used to be. They've changed that a little bit for Rise and Fall. Okay, right, that makes that makes sense. Uh, okay, well, never mind right now then. Can anyone else give me anything better? Genghis, can you give me something? Elephants for anything particularly exciting? Not really. Uh, Sionjok. You. Elephants for elephants. No, not really. And, oh no, we did Wilhelmina, didn't we? We did Wilhelmina. No, Japan. Did I check you? Uh, oh, what's that? Olives. Oh, that might be a new thing. That sounds quite cool. Uh, would you like open borders, by the way? 
Yay. Thank you, friend. No, no. Thank you, friend. Thank you. No, no one's really got anything. I'd rather save it. Now, the, it's a bit weird because we don't need the amenities out of it. We don't need to get another luxury resource out of it. I'd rather get money out of it. If I could. So, do you know what? While we're not doing anything with it, who was it that wanted the stuff? Was it Genghis? Oh, no, it was you, wasn't it? You. Would you like elephants for four gold per turn for 30 turns? Yes. Good. Rock on. Go for it. There you go. Splendid. So, we're going to get a nice gold boost. We get 64 gold per turn. That is a stupid amount of gold per turn. That's very good. Okay. A little Mongolian trader coming in. Hello, Mr. Mongolian trader man. How are you? What did that noise mean? It normally means a barbarian encampment somewhere. It's just there. We don't want you guys there. Okay. Well, we're not doing anything else, let's be perfectly honest. So, could we... Actually, could we purchase ourselves a unit? Yes. 440 gold. Why the heck not? Let's purchase one of our fancy pants units. Yep. Uh, ooh! <gasps> Your people celebrate a historic moment. Who but Congo could create the Ngao and Beba? And who can possibly resist it? Plus four era score. We need two more era score. We need two more era score to go into a golden age. Oh, come on. <laughs> we must be able to muster that together. We must be able to do that. Okay, that's very, very exciting. I'm getting six tourism per turn. Let's have a quick check of the world rankings. Uh, culture victory. You Rome is leading. You're in sixth place. Six tourism per turn. Culture per turn eleven. It's culture per turn eight. Six oh, eighteen point one. It's their culture per turn. Damn you, Rome and your culture. Right. Maybe we need to get more wonders in play. Maybe we need some more wonders going on. Okay. Fine. But a golden age would certainly help matters along. I think. So let's try and get you guys over to there. And the archers can also head out that way. And we'll take out that encampment. And that might give us, even if it's, is it plus one or two era score? We just need two. We just need two more. Buenos Aires has declared war on her two, so rock on, Buenos Aires. Fill your Buenos Aires boots. Right, you guys can go there. Right, the governor has been promoted because we built that thing in there. Whatever we just built, I can't remember. But the thing we built. So, uh, yep, let's promote you. So now. Double tourism from great works of art, music, and writing in the city. We don't have any at present, but we will be earning them now. Uh, we're earning great people points toward that because we've got our theatre square in place. We get a bonus for being the Congo, and we get a bonus for having the Oracle. So that's rather splendid. So let's do. Let's put curator in. Let's do that right now. Get that ready. So as soon as I get a great person with a work and put it somewhere. That will start earning extra tourism, and that's very cool. And let's get Amphitheatre in as well, because why the heck not? Uh, I don't quite know how the next plaza tier of things appears. I don't quite know how that happens. Also, we've got no location to build the existing three wonders. We've got no um, desert tiles. Is that desert as well? Yeah, we've got no desert tiles. So those three deserty wonders are going to have to be up by someone else, I'm afraid. Okay, fine. Amphitheatre, plus two culture, great writer point, and great works of writing slots. It's a good thing. It's only four turns. That is absolutely splendid. That's what we need. Ah, oh, two more. We can go to a golden age. Not been in a golden age before. It's very exciting. Let's have a quick check of um, quick check of this, actually. Let's view our policies. Have we got the best policies in at the minute? I rather think we might. Republican Legacy is a new card. That we got from building that thing that we did in the um, in the government plaza. All cities with a district with plus one housing and plus one amenity. I don't think we need that right now. No, I think we've got the best setup of things at the minute with our government. So that's fine. A great person. Who have we got? What great person have we got? A great general. Okay. Ah, yes. And you become. You can turn into a great work. Yep. Yeah, we'll have you. Splendid news. Right. Skip there. Uh, you are Sun Tzu. So let's retire and you can have the Art of War. Now, does this give us uh, 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 an era point? Does it do that? Come on, it must do. Come on, Sean Bean. Tell me the good news. Okay, so that's sitting in the palace at the minute. That's a good job. The palace can hold five things. Eight tourism. That's very good. Is that what that generates? Four per turn, but it's being doubled. Because of... Oh, because of Madam. Because of the boss lady, of course. Oh, I don't get a point for that. I don't get a point. I thought I might have got a point for that. 
Uh, yeah, that's annoying, isn't it? I thought we might have got a point for creating a great work, but never mind. Never mind. Okay, so we're going to go out and kill this bar... It's already gone. Where's the barbarian encampment gone? It just went bum bada bum bum There must be another one around somewhere. Hang on, let me scout around for barbarian encampments to go and kill. Why is it that when you want a barbarian encampment, you can't find one? And when you don't want one, loads of them flip in appear and start spawning barbarians to send at you. I can see one. I can see one. So the one here has also been taken care of by whoever took care of it. I don't know probably the combination of these two city-state guys. Uh, there's certainly none obvious around here that I can see that seem really, really glaring. Unless I'm being incredibly blind and missing them. But no, I don't think there's any along here at all. I don't think there's any there. So the only one that I can see is... All the way up there, near Mikisuwakihik, the Cree capital. So do I want to send my guys up there? It'll take them a long, long time to get up there. Because they've gone over this way as well, which is a little bit irritating. How many turns would that take to get up there, you guys? 11 turns. The air will probably be over in 11 turns. Do you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's go that side, though. Just run up there. Just go, go, go. And you guys as well. You might as well go for a little walk. Why the heck not? Go to just there. 13 turns for those guys. Though, they're a bit further away. How irritating. How very annoying. Okay, we need to do something to give us one <laughs> era score. One tiny era score is all we need. Come on. Ah, and an attempt to get the art of war away from me. I'm obviously going to say no. So he's offering me olives and gypsum and quite a hefty sum of gold for that. But uh, no, I'm sorry, my good man, but I'm not willing to part with it under any circumstances whatsoever. Now, what could give us another era score? What can give us one more era score? We've got recorded history. That is good news. You can build a quarry on there. Thwomp, I think that's you then fading away into non-existence. Right, okay, that's good. Choose a civic. Theology or games and recreation? Well, I don't really want theology particularly because I'm not religious -y, so games and recreation would seem obvious. It's boosted by research and construction. What am I researching now? Oh, engineering. Well, that's a bit irritating, isn't it? Um, the other one does give me uh, an envoy, though, which might be worth doing. Does it lead on to anything else? Um, okay, no, I think you need to have these to go up that way. Okay, maybe we'll go for theology. Or is that just a total waste? I think that might be a massive waste of time. Gives you an envoy. Whatever. That's fine. That gives you monarchy, which we're not going to want. And that gives you theocracy, which I don't want. So yeah, there's no real point to go into that. So no games and recreation it is. That'll do. We can build ourselves another district. Another governor title. Okay. Let's promote you to have... Allow the city to purchase districts with gold. Or plus three gold per turn from each foreign trade route passing through the city. Yeah, okay. That. Let's have that. Let's try and get some more money. So what more money we can have. Because, yes, that means we can buy more things. You don't have to keep uh, building them. We can, you know, do projects and stuff. So buy something and then build projects and whatever. And the amphitheatre is done. So can we build anything at all? No. So the next thing we need for that is a population of 13 or greater. So we're on 11 now. Yeah, so 9 turns until we grow to 12. So it's going to be at least another... 20 something turns until we can put the campus in and the campus is required to build the great library so i don't know quite what to build now so let's do this let's do theater square festivals let's get ourselves great writer great artist great musician points because that's quite cool we might as well get lots of different points of that there we go those three there's nothing else we can buy is there? there's nothing else we can really do anything with so yeah i think that's pretty good we'll do a nice little sort of festival thing Nice festival in here. Uh, you want the art of war? No. Refuse the deal. A fool would accept this. I am no fool. You came to me with the offer. <laughs> you came to me with your offer. Don't call. Don't start saying I'm a fool. You silly man. And engineering is done, which is jolly exciting. Okay, well, the next thing was construction. There wasn't. It's boosted already. So, yeah, we'll get construction. And then that helps with this. Well, that's not going to make any difference because we're going to have researched or uncovered or whatever it is, games and recreation before construction is done. But never mind. We can't boost it. I'm desperate to get one more tiny point. Your people are lazy and unworthy. If you can produce nothing, your civilization will soon be forgotten. You're really irritating me now. You're really annoying. You build your empire as the rising sun. Powerful and brilliant. Yes, and see, this guy knows it. This guy knows it. And he's got flowers on his sleeves. 
You know the drill. Go and tell the Cree guy that I am amazing, that I am powerful and brilliant. Go and tell the Cree man to stop nagging at me. Okay, there was just a, a noise, which normally means a barbarian encampment has spawned somewhere. Or I believe it can mean that. However, again, I can't see it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. If one has spawned, I don't think it's anywhere near me. Maybe it's a spawned in a row. Oh, there's one there. I don't know if that was there before. But it's certainly not near enough for me to go and deal with, I don't think. No, no, no. I can't see any barbarian encampments nearby. So these guys are still making their way up there eventually. <laughs> it's going to take them like hundreds of years to make this journey. Oh, a bar bar though. We might take on you on the way up, possibly. That might be fun if you've... Oh no, you've been killed already. That's fine. Uh, claim a great person. Will that push us up? Will that give us an extra point? Okay, an envoy. Now, this is interesting, isn't it? What do we want to do with our envoy? We've only got one, which is a bit rubbish. I'd quite like to push one of these up, if I could, to then get plus two production every city, so the city, uh, with a workshop building. Ah, I haven't got a workshop building just yet. There are no cultural sieves, which is a shame. That's a bit annoying. That's plus two science in every library district, in like every library building, sorry, which we don't have, because we can't get that for quite a while. So yeah, this is kind of kind of irrelevant at the minute as what we want to do. So we need a workshop or or whatever, a library. What does that give us? City growth rate is 15% higher when we get a campus. Or bonus resources behave like luxury resources. We don't need amenities. Or Auckland's one is shallow water tiles you own. Okay. Okay. Well, let's put that down Palenque. Let's just go toward Palenque. There we go. <gasps> The rulers of Palenque bow to Congo, who became their first suzerain in the world. Plus two era score. We are heading for a golden age. Oh, that is very exciting. Ah, and we've met England, apparently. It says, your people celebrate a historic moment. We met the people of England and became the first to meet all the civilizations of the world. Plus five era score. <sighs> Mother of dragons. Okay, that's cool. Are you just there? Hello, England. Oh, because I've got borders with Palenque. Uh, okay, well, England, Victoria. Hello. Oh, you do look miserable, don't you, Victoria? Would it would it trouble you to crack a smile? Right, send a delegation. Send a delegation. Any? Hello, hello, declare friend. Anything, Elizabeth? Hello. Do you care? Why are you not doing anything at all? Why do you not seem to acknowledge that I'm pressing any buttons? Okay. That's gone a bit weird. Maybe they have to come and talk to me or something strange. Maybe there's some weird civ rule where they have to come and talk to me first. Okay. A bit strange. I don't know what's going on there, but okie doke. Right. Um, let's do... How did that help with those? <gasps> a great writer. A great writer is ours. Yes. Recruit. Let's recruit a great writer. Let's get you to do your stuff right now let's get you to do two works of writing let's put one in the um one in the palace so da, 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 the mad the, the madhyama veya yoga okay cool man and then next time you can move over here put it in the amphitheater so again you've got more era score we are absolutely rocking the era score okay maybe now a bit more military would be a wise investment so we've got a bit of gold per turn Got a bit of stuff going on. We've got a bit of spare time. Let's get ourselves some some of these. Some Ungao Mbibas. Which is lovely. We'll get maybe three or four of those. Just position we them round. The okay, so you have to come and talk to me. I'm not allowed to come and talk to you. If I turn up and go, hey, do you want this delegation? You just stare at me like I'm talking, I don't know, in an alien language. But then as soon as you come to me, then yes, we're allowed to talk. It's an honour to meet you. Exchanging information on capitals is hunky-dory. Yes, where is your capital? It's quite far away up there but you've seemingly got a lot of territory going on okie doke right now would you like to talk to me send a delegation we have received your trade delegation and they you may rest assured that we'll treat them with the dignity they deserve do you want to be my friend it's too early okie doke uh what about a deal have you got anything that i would like not really uh you've got a bit of marble but again i'm okay for uh for amenities let's just have a little check 15 amenities out of 5 required. <laughs> That's just stupid. That is a stupid amount of amenities. Okay, so now 
Now the next intriguing thing is waiting for the era to end because I'm then going to go into a golden age, which is jolly exciting. Games and recreation is done. Right, you come over that way then and do your next thing. Uh, the Pratima Nataka. Jolly good. And Civic. Well, let's go for military training. It gives us an envoy and it's only three turns. So it's nice and simple. It's nice and straightforward. Yes, we should have that. Thank you very much. Okay, right. Mrs. Fickle here is again changing her mind about how she wants to go and her people and then is then having a go at me. So uh, yeah, our ideological differences are only the beginning. I cannot approve of the way you govern your people. Well, I haven't changed where I govern my people in quite a long time. So it must be you that have changed your ways and have all of a sudden decided that I'm in the wrong, which means you are stupid. So goodbye. Okay, so Mrs. Sourface has turned up again, looking down on me like I'm, you know, a piece of dog mess on a shoe. Open borders and the art of war. And she's going to be spices and some marble and a paltry amount of gold. No, goodbye. Ah, the classical era ends in nine turns and we do not need to worry. Civic has been boosted for mercenaries because we've employed presumably so many units, which is good. So, um, yeah, let's position these around now in good places. So you guys can go down there. I think it's important we have someone down here just to keep an eye on things. We'll put someone on this ivory just here, just in case barbarians or someone comes in and starts to do some stupid pillagey stuff. We'll position one up here and one over here. I think maybe up on that stone. No, maybe on there, actually, on that cattle where that road is coming in. So we want another one, possibly two, three, I think. Now, can we queue things anymore? Is it possible to queue things? The Colosseum, it requires an arena. Um, what do you want? Those guys. We want that. I don't think we can queue them up. Okay, whatever, never mind. We'll just build them again. So, yeah, so they can be positioned down here. And that's good because we don't have to worry about the era ending. And we're taking through a fairly nice, sizable chunk of stuff to the next era. So, 50 out of 43. So, we should be okay. Military training is done. Defensive tactics is next. And send an envoy. Okay, well, let's send it to maybe Auckland. So, eventually, when we do get a workshop building in, we'll be able to get a bit more production on wonders and buildings and districts, possibly. Or is that going to be a while? Because we're going to get a campus first. Do you know what? Let's send it to Hattusa. What's their one? Provides you one of each strategic resource you've revealed but do not own. Oh, that's quite good. That's quite good. Uh, William has got four. So we'd take a while to get to their suzerain. But even if we get to that, plus two science in every library building, that's probably still a good thing. I want to discover some cultural civs, uh, civs, some cultural city-states, please. Where are they all? <laughs> Why have they all gone away? Um, and now these guys are having a bit of a pointless wander up here because they don't need this anymore. Not really, but okay. Let's just wander you guys up that way then for the sake of it. <laughs> you don't really need to be there. You guys can fortify on the elephants. That's jolly exciting. Okay, now... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for defensive tactics to come in. The governor will get her last title. We can't use any more of them. And then, uh, that's, no, that's a rivery, watery, battley thing, isn't it? The uh, mausoleum at Halicarnassus is to do with uh, admirals and stuff. So we don't want that. Which was a good one? That's quite good. Bastions is quite good. But we haven't got any military slots. So we need to swap out our wildcard policy for that. Maybe put that in if we're at war, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But um, I'm thinking about buying some tiles. I'm thinking about using some of this vast amount of cash I've got to actually buy some tiles. So if we buy all the tiles that we can naturally expand into, then the next tiles that they're going to will be the different tiles, the stuff that we can't normally get. So we might be able to get out and get this stone and then go here and then eventually get this ivory and it'll all be very cool so we can expand out. Now there is a policy for buying tiles. I believe it is just... Uh, there you go. Reduces the cost of purchasing a tile by 20%. Now I might... Are we allowed to... Oh, we can change it now, can't we, for free? Okay, yeah, let's do that now then. We can change our policies. Let's take that out because we're not building any wonders at the minute. Get rid of that and put in that one. And I think it's free because we just researched a civic. So that's good. Yes. And let's just check if that's the right one. Purchasing a tile, 20%. Yes. Okay. Good. Now let's go through and buy ourselves some tiles. So we're expanding to that one in five turns anyway. So that's fine. So if we buy, say... Well, how about these three down here? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Do you know what? Let's just buy all of them. There you go. 
Splendid. Five turns until we grow into that tile. And then our growth will be all these extra tiles around the edge, which will be quite good. So we can get here, get some bananas, go out this way, get stone, and then eventually head out to sort of further afield, get cocoa and other different bits of bobs. So that'll probably be good. I mean, if we get out there, that'll be really good. Get some citrus on board as well. But there we go. We've pretty much got all our territory bar this one tile at the bottom, which is absolutely fine. And when we next get a thing, we want open borders for just eight gold up front. Can I not have open borders as well? Take out the eight gold. Why do you not want that? What if I give you... <laughs> I'm not giving you that much gold. What about if I give you ten gold? Is that good enough? All right, what about... 20 gold. Okay. Yeah, I'm up for that. I like open borders. Thanks. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's better. I like that idea better. Um, What was I saying? Oh, I can't remember what I was saying. Something about borders or something. It probably wasn't that important. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, the classical era is ending in seven turns. And this, <laughs> these people's journey through the desert for many, many hundreds of years, which I don't really understand because these archers take a load of other people with them to then keep spawning baby archers who then grow up to be grown-up archers. I don't know. But whatever the case, it's all been it's in vain because they've taken down the barbarian encampment and we achieved the score anyway. So they've just gone on a nice little walk around. Do you know what? Why not go and explore some stuff? Oh, they absolutely annihilated that. Okay, fine. Right, the archers can come back then. Let's send the archers back. Let's put those archers just there. I think that's where they came from in the first place. Let's send them all the way back home again. Sorry, fellas. I'm sorry. Construction is done. So now our people can hit things with hammers. They can use nails and bits of wooden hammers to make some stuff. Okay. We have a new trade route. Well, we don't have a new one, but one has returned from Hattusa. Gave us plus two science, plus four gold. Now, science would be useful to keep that on the way. Is that... Has anyone got a quest, however? Granada will give us a, a uh, envoy if we send them a trade route, but I don't really care so much. Uh, no, nowhere else gives us any good... Oh, Karakarum, however, gives us one science, but also one production. That might be worth... That could be quite good. And it's a trade route with those guys to make them happy. So, yeah, okay. Let's send it down there. Yeah, why not? Let's send a trader your way. Right, our other Ngao Imbeba unit. Let's run you over there. We want to make another one of the Terracotta Army. All current units gain a promotion. All archaeologists from the owner may enter foreign lands without open borders. That could be quite good. Must be built on, must be built on flat grassland or plains adjacent to an encampment district with a barracks or a stable. So we do have that, do we? We've got a tile there for it, but of course we could... I know we need to expand into those tiles. Ah, oh, no. Do you know what? I don't think we go for that. I don't think we go for that. Oh, more Japanese cities. Hello, Japanese cities. Right, science. What do we want to do now? Machinery. What's the Kilwa Kisiwani? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Plus three envoys when built. When you were the suzerain of city-state, this city receives a plus 15% boost to the yield provided by that city-state. Wow. That's quite good. If you're the Caesar around to two or more city-states of that type, an additional 15% boost is given to all your cities. It must be built on a flat tile adjacent to the coast. Okay. <laughs> you can tell me that at the start. Adjacent to the coast. Okay, fine. Um, that's been boosted. Uh, we're never going to build an aqueduct, so that is not going to be boosted ever. It might be quite handy to have an armory before I start building some more units, maybe. With that 36 turns. I need some more science. A desperate need some more science. Or go down apprenticeship, because that means I can get the workshop in, possibly. Plus one production to mines. I don't have any mines. I've got quarries, I think. Do you know what? Yeah, machinery will do. Let's get machinery. Why the heck not? And let's not build any more of those guys at the minute, then. If we can build other stuff later on. It's going to be a long while, actually, until we can build the next uh, sort of improvement to the encampment, isn't it? It's going to be a long old while. Let's get ourselves, yeah, let's get ourselves another two of those, I would say. Another two of those, I think they're fairly, they're quite strong, yes. Plus ten combat strength when defending against range attacks, can move and see through woods and rainforest. That's quite useful. Okie doke, yep, that'll do. We'll get two more of those, position the way we said we were going to. No, you're not having my big old book of rules about war, you can get stuffed, goodbye. Okay, those guys can fortify just there. 
you guys can continue to wander about up there for a bit because why not? And we've got another great person, another great writer. I suspect we're going to have a lot of great writers going on. Now, it takes quite a long time to get great artists and great musicians. It takes quite a long time, but great writers know. So we can get metamorphoses and heroids. Oh dear, I had them once. I'd have cream. Well, who else is going on? What about merchants? Great merchants and Mongolia are finally pulling their finger out. There we go. I've got 222. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did make a mistake in passing on this person because I could have had this one and then the next one and the one after that and probably the one after that as well by the look of it. Uh, okay, never mind. Right. Great writer. Progress more. The enlightenment has happened and I really do need places to put things now. I really need places to put great works. So I'm going to run out. Your recruitment of great people we coveted, we coveted or we covet, is becoming a real problem. I'm sorry. You should be greater then, shouldn't you? Just be better. Just be generally better. Okay. There we go. Right. Metamorphoses. Yeah, we've only got three spaces left. <laughs> it's all books. It's all great books, which is fine. I just need some more room for things. I need more room for great books, please. Okay, this era is ending in four turns. So what we'll do is we'll get to that. We'll get into the Golden Age. We'll see what happens and all the jolly exciting stuff that comes with it. And then we shall call it a day. Right, Ovid, go and do your next thing just there. Okay, fine. Right, we have 46 tourism. Let's have a quick look at the culture victory now. So culture victory, England are leading. Four tourism per turn, but 26.6 tour... Hang on, what? Does not compute. Because I have 46 tourism per turn and 31 and a half culture. Let's look at culture a second. Going on here, then. So, no tourism going on of any kind. Okay. I wonder why there's no tourism going on of any sort. Maybe it only happens at a certain date? I don't know. Is anyone winning a particular science victory? No, that will be ridiculous. Domination, no. And religion is currently being led by Wilhelmina. Two out of eight civs are converted to Protestantism. Now, I haven't got a religion yet. I don't think it's come to get me quite yet. It'll be on its way, I'm fairly certain, but it's not happened yet. Oh, I got a, uh, I got an era score point there for establishing a trading post. Your people celebrate a historic moment. Dusty and tired, but eager to haggle. Merchants open our first trading post in the lands of Rome. Plus one era score. Ah, so because I've sent them to another uh, another actual sieve rather than city-state, I get an era score point. Okay, right you are. Okay, and our trader has returned. So where do we want to send you? So you just bought back last time gold. Loads and loads and loads of gold. Can anyone give me anything else? Anything else? Any sort of science or anything exciting? Doesn't look it. You give me a bit of food, actually. If I send it up to you guys. Food might be quite useful. Oh, yes. I think we go down that route. Yeah, okay. That looks good. Let's go down that route and get some food for the capital and see if we can grow a bit quicker and get our campus in a bit quicker as well. Right then, you guys. You can go... Ah, yes. Down there. Onto the uh, ivory resource. You guys can go up there somewhere. <gasps> Look at that, Yosemite Valley! That looks very cool, and it looks very good with the holy site next to it. Okie doke, thank you very much. Jolly good, we've discovered a thing. I like discovering a thing. Okay, let's build commercial hub. Let's get some gold and great merchant points. We need some more great merchant points. So, um, yeah, let's do that then. Let's do a few more of these project things while we're here and wait for the era to end. Okay, two turns left until this era ends. We have researched defensive tactics. We can promote our governor. Now, the only thing is, she's only got one left. So I don't know what happens if we then keep getting more. Do we just have to leave the promotions behind? I don't know. So a contractor uh, allows city to purchase districts with gold. That's quite good. And we've got ourselves an achievement. Subject matter expert, presumably because all the uh, sort of things in there, all the titles have been earned by Reina the Financier. Okay, that's cool. Another era score. The art of governance finds its ultimate expression in the leadership of Reina the Financier. Splendid news. Okay, so there's plus one. There is a barbarian in our lands. I'm not really very happy about that. Can we send anyone to, to deal with this? I mean, I think they're just coming because they're running away. Because we're being attacked up here. Maybe you guys could go over that way and go around the long way to deal with those lot. Don't really like them being there very much. 
Uh, another unit, you guys up there. Uh, yeah, you're a bit hemmed in, actually. There aren't you. Some Yosemite is in the way. Uh, okay, right, you guys come back then. You're not really explorers. You guys come back. Come to just uh, there. Why not in front of there? No, you can't go there. There's people already there. What about there then? You can stand just there and look imperious at the north. Uh, you guys can do that. And a civic. Okay, civil service allows for alliances. And that is probably a good thing. Feudalism, our farms get plus one food for each adjacent farm improvement. Okay, so not possibly as useful as it could be. Naval tradition will be useless, as will theology. Do you know what? Civil service. It's boosted. We might as well use it. And then I need to start working on this up here as well. So let's get ourselves a builder. Let's get ourselves a builder. Bumper builder out. He can go up here, start building some farms and stuff and some workshops down here in the forest. We want to keep the rainforest in. You tread on dangerous, you tread on dangerous waters, waters in the face of England, England and her loyal colonies. Do I? Why do I do that, you sour face madam? Okay, well, never mind. You're not going to tell me why. And I've lost my Palenque city-state uh, thing. Uh, suzerain ability power. But whatever. That's absolutely fine. Right then. Um, Why is that tile red? Has that been pillaged? No, it's not been pillaged. Okay, well, you guys can run into that tile and scare these guys. Ah, in fact, you know what? Let's just kill them. Goodbye. Boom. There we go. Okay, you guys go up here then. Start building some farms and stuff. That'll be quite useful. And yeah, where were those guys at the top? I realised I sent them to a really stupid place. You guys, don't go to the top end here. That's a, that's a pointless place to go. Go to just there. You might as well go into the east. You can be our eastern defence force. Okay, we're going to go into a golden age. You will, We will have nothing to do with administration. You are hereby denounced. Denounces you. You are the last one I met and you're the one that's being an absolute misery... <laughs> You settled in a continent they want a presence in. We're all on the same continent. It's one landmass. You are clearly a mentaloid. What is wrong with you? Oh, Victoria's built Kazwilala Kazwilani. You want to give me some stuff for some chocolate? Yep. Yep, I'm up for that. Rock on. Yeah, why not? Do it. Yes, good. Good plan. And now the age will end. So as well as us going into a golden age, it should also look very cool. Oh, and look... I do like the way it makes everything look gold. The screen just brightens and everything just looks everything just looks slightly better, which I do quite like. Uh, okay, my friendship with all the things has been needs to be renewed. Lots of different things, my Bob. Yep. Okay. Right. You need orders. Uh, how about you just stand uh, on the Oracle? Why not? That'll do. You guys can go back down there. That could be your route. What shall we construct? Uh, still can't quite get to a campus. We need six more turns. Is that it? Yeah, six more turns to build a campus. Okay, what can we build instead? Let's build another commercial hub investment. Why not? And now, Golden Age dedications. And let's see how all the other civs are doing with their eras as well. So, the world has entered the medieval era. Yes, current score 53 out of 43 <laughs> required. Yes, that was very, very good. Okay, so to earn a, a new thing next time. So a new age. A dark age, 0 to 69. Okay, normal age, 70 to 81. And a golden age, 82. Effective uh, Effect active this age. You're in a golden age. Each of your citizens exerts 1.5 loyalty pressure in their city. Now, loyalty, I don't think I need to worry about. Because I've only got my capital. And I imagine your capital is the most loyal of all your cities. This will help, I suppose. This pressure also affects other cities within nine tiles, but is 10% less effective per tile. It will be easy to maintain loyalty in our cities and challenge the loyalty of foreign cities. You will make a dedication which provide a powerful gameplay bonus during the age. However, let's just see who is in what. So what's that? So that is... That's a golden age, is it? Yeah, that's a golden age. That's a golden age. That's a golden age. They're both in normal ages. Is that heroic age? Those are going into heroic ages. Is that what that star thing means? Possibly might be a heroic age. So going from a dark age to a golden age kind of leads to a heroic age, I believe. Okay, 
Make your dedication uh, to the medieval era. Because you own a golden age, you can make one dedication. So these are very powerful then. So free inquiry. Free inquiry golden age. Eureka is providing an initial 10% of technology costs. That's good. Commercial hub and harbour district gold adjacency bonus provides science as well. Okay. Pen, brush and voice. Inspirations for our 10% of civic. Each city receives plus one culture for each specialty district. Okay, monumentality plus two movement for all builders. May purchase civilian units with faith. Don't really have much in the way of faith, I don't believe. Not really. Uh, builders and settlers, blah, blah, blah. Not really that bothered. And that's to do with religion. So it's going to be the top two. Free inquiry or pen, brush and voice. Uh, okay, so they provide additional science. The adjacency bonuses for the commercial hub. Because I don't have a harbour. And Eureka's providing an extra 10% of technology cost. Or... Go down pen, brush, and voice and get plus one culture for each specialty district. So at the minute, I'll have three, unless the government plaza counts as one. I'm not sure. So it could be plus four, plus three or four culture per turn, or a bit of a science boost. Ah, now that's tricky, isn't it? Because I could do with the science boost. I can't actually see what my science is just there. <laughs> it's kind of too dark in this golden age. Um... No, I think I'm going to go down Pembrush and Voice. I'm going for that win. I'm going for a culture win. Let's do that then. Splendid. And look, it's all shiny and golden and very exciting. And the screen's all shiny and golden. It's very cool. Okay, good. And we are going to leave it there. That is where it's going to stop. So we've gone into a golden age. And we are producing a commercial investment. We need to do a couple of these, I think. And then we'll get our campus in. And then the campus will be very, very exciting indeed. We have to do some cool stuff with that. And then we're going to need to start focusing on buildings that allow us to store great works of art. At the minute, we don't have enough great works of art slots. We don't have enough buildings with slots in to put all the great works that are going to be coming our way, unfortunately. Um, a great profit we can't have. Great merchant. Yeah, so in they're in 2.3 per turn. So in five turns or so, they should get the great merchant. And then we'll be able to then get on with getting great merchants, which is good. We're also, weirdly enough, on the way to get a great general, which is a surprise, and a great writer, and an artist, and a musician. And then eventually, when we get the campus in, we'll start earning great scientist points, which will also be quite useful. So, uh, yes, I think, I think that went quite well. We're in the Golden Age. That's very important. We've got that tile as well. Are we going to expand any more? Do we expand any more? Where is it? Purchase a tile. Yes, we're going for that tile now. We're going for that one there. In one turn. So we soon should have, I think, this ring around here as well. The extra bit that the city can't reach. But it's good just to have anyway, isn't it? It's a good thing just to have that. Just because we're selfish and want more land. More, more of everything. So yes, next time we'll just carry on. But the important thing is the campus. We need the campus. Maybe a bit of a military boost possibly. And I think maybe next time we'll go for a different government. I think we're sort of working toward... Uh, the next government tier up, I think, which possibly might be Merchant Republic. I don't know, but that's what we can work toward as well. So hopefully you have enjoyed this and are continuing to enjoy this playthrough. If you are, please do leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Let's throw that at you. That might get you. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, that's hard, but this is an unpleasant angle, Trish. Can you just fall in the water, please? This is this is this is the best box. This is my favourite box of the game so far. Oh no 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 no! It, it is hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Very uh, interesting way of doing your medical examinations. Who's examining who? <laughs>